I had the idea for Sensor in 2012. Um, so a long time before we actually started writing the script, we got finance for the first draft in 2016. And then we completed the film at the end of 2020. So that's sort of the broad timeline. Um, but that first sort of seed of the idea was just one of those things that you get that little thing of like, oh, I've got a character in my head. It was like I, I was really interested in the idea of exploring the story of a film censor who was struggling in some way with their moral compass, who was thinking, you know, if these things I'm watching are meant to do these terrible things to people or are meant to make people do these terrible things to other people, then what stops me from being affected by that and that was really kind of the first place I started with um, and then I I decided the video nasty era was a great place to set this film because the, the video nasty era echoed what I wanted to explore in the character the early 80s when everybody was saying VHS horror was going to turn us all into murderers and psychopaths um, so I was kind of exploring all this and researching and talking to my co-writer Anthony Fletcher who I was working with on some short films and then I through the research was like oh I'd quite like to make a short film set during this period but not about a film censor about a, a young boy who discovers video nasties so I made a short film called Nasty which that was a whole, that was why it wasn't until 2016 that we kind of started to write the script because Nasi was a whole journey of its own. Um, I wanted to get funding for that, but we didn't get funding. So I ended up crowdfunding and then made Nasi and it, it did really well. It, it um, premiered at London Film Festival and it went to over a hundred festivals and it was a great way for me to kind of explore the world and the ideas that I wanted to explore in the feature um, and steal the things that worked from the short and mm -hmm. put them in the feature film. Mm -hmm. So then that whole time, me and Anthony, my co-writer, were working on a treatment for Censor. And through Making Nasty, I met my producer um, on Censor, Helen Jones. She saw the film and then we met and talked. And there was a scheme called Eye Features that came up mm -hmm. um, that was in 2016. So we submitted to Eye Features as a team, me, Helen and Anthony, and uh, we didn't get onto Eye Features, um, but we asked for some feedback. We got down to the last, you know, however many, but didn't get through. Um, and we got some feedback and then we reworked the treatment and approached Film Wales. Um, I'm Welsh, which you wouldn't know from my accent, but it, you know, that's why we could go and approach Film Wales for funding. And they gave us funding for that first draft. And that was amazing. I think having that first person to come in or that first body to come in um, with some support is mm. the kickoff, really. So we developed the script with Film Wales. Then we did a draft with Creative England and Film Wales. And then eventually we were going around and pitching the film all over. Um, we did a, a kind of genre focused financing forum called Frontiers, which um, I always I don't know if people are interested in genre here, but for film financing in genre, it's great. It's a collaboration between Cannes Film Festival and Fantasia Film Festival. And it's basically they pick like 12 projects um, for their uh you know each particular iteration of this uh event and you go and spend like three days with financiers who love genre and you pitch your film and get to know them and get feedback and you know that was great um and then just after that we ended up meeting with bfi and film four and they came on board um and we developed the film further with them before getting the green light but i'm obviously like trying to be thorough but scooting over loads I mean the development process with with those um partners was pretty grueling for me I'd never I'd never worked um I did one short with film four but the script was kind of ready to go there wasn't much development um so it was the first time I'd been in that kind of 
that situation where you're getting notes from three different bodies um, and being kind of grilled, really. (laughs) 